Hey guys, we're here today in Dragon's Dogma 2, taking a look at the quest Saint of the Slums, and how best to accomplish the associated tasks. I recommend to sleep in an inn before you take on this mission, that way if something doesn't go according to your plan, or you don't get the outcome you're looking for, you can load your last inn save and take it on again. At some point, when you pass through the slums, in front of the Gracious Hand in Vernworth, this quest will be presented to you and place you into a conversation between Alina and some Beastron parents, talking about their ill-written son and Alina not having much she can do for him. Now we are going to go through this quest step by step on what exactly is going on in the story, but if you have no interest in that and are just looking how to accomplish a particular part, then feel free to jump through the timestamps to whichever part of the quest you are at. Once this conversation is over, if you go speak to Alina yourself, she will tell you that they're running low on medicines, and it will lead to you being able to offer to go and get her some. The medicine she is looking for is Miasmite, which can be looted off of phantoms that you killed during the night out in the world. Once you've acquired three Miasmite, you can bring it back to Alina, and she will ask you if you would like to see what they do here. Once you accept this part, she will lead you inside and introduce you to Lubomir, who is the ill-ridden son from the aforementioned parents. Lubomir informs you that although the Sisters of the Gracious Hand are kind, he is growing weaker by the day, and something does not feel right about this place to him. But he's unsure if it's just him imagining things, or if something nefarious is actually going on, and asks you to look into it. Once you're finished speaking to Lubomir, one of the Sisters of the Gracious Hand named Lottie will initiate a conversation with you. While she is inside the building, she does not initiate this conversation. But after you're done speaking to Lubomir, she will walk out front, and will initiate a conversation with you as you leave the building. If you left the building before Lottie has, then just wait a moment for her to walk out, and as you reapproach the building, she will initiate this conversation then. She tells you that she hopes Lubomir begins to feel better, and if he doesn't, he will unfortunately be sent to the basement sick room, where only Alina is allowed, and uses special medicine to heal people, and all that she knows from down there is that she hears strange cries and moans, although she says this is to be expected, since they are the most critical patients. After speaking to Lottie, you'll walk back in and speak to Lubomir, and inform him of the basement sick room. He will ask you at this point if you can find out what's going on down there, since the entire situation seems suspicious, since only Alina can enter the room, and nobody else has first-hand experience of what is happening. As you're walking away from the Lubomir, the hallway to go down to the basement is on your right-hand side. If you're just now entering the Gracious Hand building, the door is on your left, on the eastern side of the building. You'll go down some staircases, and have a door on your left, and a door on your right. The door on your right-hand side is what leads into the sick room, and as you approach you can hear moaning and crying coming from inside. But as you try to open the door, it should be locked, which is the case if you try to approach this door at any time during the day. You need to go to a nearby bench and doze off until nighttime, and when you return, the door should be open. You can enter this room to see a couple patients and a curtain over the door to another room. When you enter this back room, to the left, you should see on a bookshelf some documents of former patients, and above the table, on a shelving in the back right of the room, you should find some unlabeled medicine. There's quite a lot of other loot in this room if you have not been in it before, so it can be difficult to see the two quest items until you've looted everything in there. These two items lead to two separate pieces of evidence that you need to form against Alina to find out what's really going on. You can go upstairs to talk to Lubomir and show him both the items and he will give you some more details on exactly what your task should be. The first one is to head over near the tavern in the slums and speak to two former patients sitting directly by the fire, being Jahan and Bruno. They inform you that Alina is incredibly kind and cared for him throughout the entirety of their sickness. However, there is an eerie and dark shadow among that basement sick room, and you'll also be informed that most of the patients have died in there and only a few have survived. Bruno also informs you that he's once seen Alina meet with a strange man and hand him a large parcel and him give her something in return, and that he saw this take place in the eastern part of the common quarter. Assuming it's still nighttime for you when you're done talking to Bruno, you can head to the common quarter right away. As you approach the area, you can see Alina and the strange man, and as you get closer, the game will shift into their conversation, and you'll find out that Alina is harvesting something from these patients in order to trade it to Lord Phasis and Bakhtal. This is all you need to do to acquire the evidence from the document of the former patients, and now we can move on to the unlabeled medicine. After you have spoken to Lupamir about the medicine, he will tell you of a doctor that used to be here, who now resides at Checkpoint Rest Town, who might be able to take a look at it. You can take the Western Ox Cart in Vernworth to get to Checkpoint Rest Town, and at Checkpoint Rest Town, you'll find the doctor Lubomir spoke of named Radcliffe on the hill in the house behind the alchemists. Radcliffe will take a look at this medicine and tell you to return later to see what his findings are. All you need to do is go to a nearby bench and doze off one time or till later that evening, and return and Radcliffe will have the results for you, saying that it is more poison than any medicine, and although it does have healing properties in it, someone would have to withstand quite a lot and survive through a lot of poison in order to even get to the healing properties, which would obviously lead to most of the patients dying. Now when you return to the Gracious Hand, 
You'll be informed by Lottie that Lubomir has been moved to the basement sick room and is in an even worse condition. As you head down to the basement sick room, Alina is at the door and she will tell you to leave this place at once. Here, what you'll want to do is use your grab key and tackle Alina to the floor to apprehend her. This will move you to a few hours later where you'll be informed by the guards that she is going to be standing trial and the evidence you have is sufficient and they are thankful for your help. And you will gain 11,000 gold for figuring out Alina's plot. Be wary as you're progressing through this quest that the game will allow you to apprehend Alina early on with either no evidence or only one piece of the evidence. And in this case, she will still be questioned, but the guards will inform you that there is not enough evidence to hold her and you will only gain 6,000 gold instead. So ideally, make sure you don't accidentally apprehend her early and collect all your evidence before you have her stand trial. Hopefully this guide was helpful to you, gave you an idea of how to accomplish each task and got you through with minimal problems or complications. Let me know down in the comments how your experience with the quest was, and if you come across any different outcomes or stages that could help someone else that's doing the quest. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.